In the name of Allah, the entirely merciful, the especially merciful, may peace, mercy and blessings of Allah the Almighty be upon all of you. I am Umar bin Abid and you are watching Umar Linguistics, the bilingual linguistics channel. So today our lecture is, does humans and animals language exist at dual level? Or in simpler words, uh, does humans and animals have duality in their language? So this is our today's lecture. We are going to discuss it. In the last lecture, we discuss about productivity. So you must watch this lecture. Uh, I have given the link in the description below, uh, as well as in the cards. So you know we are for uh, our chapter is animals and human language chapter two, and we are following the book The Study of Language by George Joule, uh, which latest edition has been published in February. 2019 and it's it's one of the best seller books in introduction to linguistics and the publisher is Cambridge University Press so first of all we are going to discuss duality in human beings so duality just by word you may have understood something that duality means something like two or at two levels so you are right if you are thinking this uh, because duality is a property of language whereby linguistic forms have two simultaneous levels of sound production and meaning so these are the two levels uh, which explains this concept of duality specifically in linguistics because we are talking about linguistics so we are defining duality with the reference to linguistics and duality is also known as double articulation so what does it mean uh, so when we speak, uh, we have a physical level where we produce individual sounds. For example, uh, let's suppose we have these three sounds, E and B. And at another level, we combine these sounds in different combinations to generate meanings. So uh, we will study phonetics and phonology as well. So th uh, then we come to know these concepts in a more comprehensive way. But uh, you can say that uh, uh, these are the more, more common one of the most common things we know alphabets in our languages we know uh, different sounds in our languages we know that there are 44 sounds in english and 26 alphabets so just with 44 sounds we produce you can say uh, millions and billions of words so at one level at physical level we produce individual sound for example n e and b and b so i can produce all these three sounds separately and at another level we can combine these sounds in different combinations to generate meanings for example i say nib i say bin and even uh, there is a word like bib and many uh, other few words maybe uh, could be made from these three sounds so these are the two levels uh, which we call duality that at one level we are producing individual sounds and uh, on the other level we are combining these individual sounds into different combination to generate meanings or to generate new words so we can say that at one level we have distinct sounds and at another level we have distinct meanings so this is duality and uh, you can say this is one of the most economical feature of human language or this is the one of the most economical property of human language that just with a limited set of sounds we generate a lot of words millions and billions even trillions of words uh, maybe <laughs> trillion is a big number uh, but millions i think million is enough so for example in english we have 44 sounds just 44 sounds and we have produced a lot of words so it's a general and phenomena you can say that it is already in your mind but i just have given uh, you the information about it so now we are going to talk uh, about animals uh, that uh, animals also have duality in their language or not so uh, if you are thinking not so you are right that other creatures do not have duality and their each communicative signal appears to be a fixed simple form simple form which cannot be broken for example if animals would have duality so they must uh, ha they must be able to break uh, their words into different sounds but actually it's 
it is not observable and actually it does not happen so what a dog do so you may have a dog or you may not have a dog you may have observed a dog so for example suppose suppose you have a dog and your dog produces a sound like woof woof and uh, which you may think that uh, when your dog is happy so he produce this sound that and he uh, actually uh, he's uh, he's trying to say that i'm happy to see you so, th so uh, but uh, would it be able to produce sounds like uh, v u and f uh, would your dog be able to break uh, this sound this whole sound or this whole signal and actually this is a complete word for a dog because in their communication the, uh, this is a complete word so would your dog be able to break all uh, break this word in discrete units into individual sounds so actually uh, a dog or any other creature could not do this and if the dog had duality so we might expect to hear woof i'm happy to see you as well as oof i'm hungry and foo i am really bored uh, these are just you can say hypothetical translation of these different sounds because uh, if we can make uh, nib and we can make bin just from three sounds and if dogs had duality so uh, they might be able to produce uh, S more words and more signals just from woof or just from these three sounds like oof foof for different meanings but they are unable to do so so this is all about today's lecture where we discussed about duality that language ex human language exists at two levels at one level we produce sounds and at another level we produce uh, several meanings or several combination of those sounds to create uh, different meanings Uh, and in the next lecture we are going to discuss about talking to animals so uh, until now in chapter 2 uh, we discuss several properties of human language and we also compare these properties with animals so uh, does it really mean that animals can't learn language so this is what we are going to explore in the incoming lectures so i hope you would have understood today's lecture so oh, if you have point out uh, if you have pointed out or if you have come to know any sort of mistakes so you may point out in the comments box and i would really acknowledge it so don't forget to give your feedback remember in your prayers jazakallah khairan and thank you